Welcome to Project Ascension's Quick Guide to Boon. In this video, we'll cover all the key details that you'll want to know so that you can push high Mythic Plus. When it comes to Boons and Mythic Plus, this affix actually applies to all key levels. It is very important to utilize the power spikes these boons can give. They will change location every day. At this time, boons don't seem to swap locations. However, it is intended that they will change daily in the future. Some boons will not be worth taking. However, if you need to only pull one to two packs of mobs for it, I would strongly suggest taking it. When you or a party member clicks a boon crystal, all party members within line of sight will obtain one of the 13 available boons. These boons will go into your inventory and you will have 10 minutes to use the boon before it expires. You and your party can end up having multiple of the same boons. When used together, they will stack up to 5 times. Boons are also usable while in combat. Next, we will cover each boon and how impactful they are when running Mythic Plus. Phase Walk is one of the strongest boons you can obtain when in an organized group. It will allow you to skip unwanted and unneeded packs. On top of this, you can also go through doors, skipping key areas like Rend and Ubers, Arena and Prison, and the Gauntlet in Upper City. It is best to communicate with your team when you're going to use this so that everyone is on the same page. On a side note, you cannot grab other boon crystals while this is active. The boons Ascension and Bountiful help increase damage and healing. You should use these on big pulls or bosses when cooldowns are ready. It's best to prioritize adds or bosses depending on if it's a fortified or tyrannical weak. Ruthlessness and critical are a great pair and using them together when possible is excellent synergy. Since they increase critical percent and chance, they work really well together with almost any spec and are very versatile in dungeons. Wrathful is a flat increase to both spell and attack damage. I would suggest using this similar to Ascension and Bountiful, targeting adds and bosses depending on if it's fortified or tyrannical. Adaptation and Piercing are a bit weaker boons to obtain mostly because they shine when you have specific builds in your group, such as a hybrid and melee spec. If you do have someone in your group that works well with these boons, try to use those boons during their cooldowns. Sanctified is an excellent defensive boon to use. The healing output of this boon is very high, it is capable of keeping a party up through heavy AoE damage. Sanctuary is not as great as it may seem with a 15% damage reduction. The main reason for this is that you cannot reduce the damage of affixes, so only use this to negate damages from bosses and adds. Infinity works well with spells such as Exorcism, Circle of Healing, Thunderclap, Consecration, and Hammer of the Righteous. Abilities like these allow you to use them with zero cooldown. The reason you don't want to use wild growth like circle of healing is because hot the hot gets replaced it's also good to keep in mind that if you stack this multiple times this boot can help lower higher cooldown abilities inquisition is shown to have little impact however the times to use this would be on pulls that have large amount of ads a great example of this is when you pull whiplashers or gordok mass fist momentum has two purposes to have a higher movement speed in areas where you have to run a large distance or you can use it as a haste cooldown for a good small healing and dps boost this concludes our quick guide to boons. If you want to see the use of boons in action, check out the video here.